Kobe and the Closet Monsters. In the small town of Willowdale, Kobe, a young boy with a vivid imagination, had a special friend named Boggart who lived in his closet. Boggart was a monster and had a special talent. He could change colours like a chameleon and had a very gentle growl. Every night, Boggart's gentle growls would fill the room, lulling Kobe into a peaceful sleep. One night, Kobe opened his closet, expecting to hear Boggart's comforting growl. But the closet was silent. Boggart was not there. That night, Kobe tossed and turned, missing the familiar sound. Wispy's night. The following night, as Kobe warily opened the closet, out floated Wispy. Hello, Kobe. Boggart had to step out for a bit. I'm Wispy, and I'll be here tonight, it said in a gentle whisper. Wispy floated out, glowing softly. Kobe, want to hear a funny ghost joke, it whispered. Why did the ghost go into the bar? Kobe shrugged. For the booze, Wispy giggled. Wispy's jokes made Kobe smile, but as night fell, he missed Boggart's growly good night. Glimmer's night. On the second night, Glimmer came out of the closet. Glimmer was a tiny twinkling light, changing colours and making Kobe's room look like a rainbow. Kobe watched, smiling, but when Glimmer said night night and the colours stopped, Kobe wished for Bogart's growl. Boomp's night. On the third night, a huge fat monster appeared. It was Boomp. Boomp was big and soft. It made gentle thump thump sounds. Kobe tapped his feet to the beat. It was nice. But at bedtime, Kobe felt lonely without Bogart's rumbly growl. Fizzle's night. On the fourth night, it was Fizzle's turn. Fizzle was fast and sparkly. Catch me, it laughed. Kobe ran and laughed too. But when it was time to sleep and everything was quiet, Kobe missed the growl that sounded like a hug. Squiggle's night. On the fifth night, Squiggle, who could change shape, appeared. Squiggle changed from a dragon to a car to a cloud. Kobe clapped and cheered. But when the light was off and Squiggle was quiet, Kobe felt something was missing. I think it was Bogart's growl. Flutter's night. On the sixth night, it was Flutter's turn. Flutter had big, soft wings. It told stories of faraway places. Kobe felt sleepy and happy. But in the dark, without Bogart's growl, Kobe felt a little scared. Murmur's night. It was now the seventh night, and out came Murmur. Murmur sang soft songs. Kobe's eyes got heavy. The songs were pretty, but they weren't the growl that said, I'm here, Kobe. Bogart's return. Then on the eighth night, finally, Bogart came back. Kobe heard the familiar growl and opened the closet. Bogart, I missed you, he said. Bogart's growl seemed to say, I missed you too, Kobe. That night, with Bogart's growl filling the room, Kobe felt happy and safe. He realised that even though all the monsters were nice, Bogart's growl was what made his nights perfect. And so every night with Bogart in the closet, Kobe drifted off to sleep, feeling loved and protected. Join our community of kids who love to learn and have fun by subscribing to our channel.